Hi, I'm James LeFleur and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today we're going to be taking a look at the most unexplained and most mysterious videos of 2023. I mean, this year has been a really, really strange one, but it's about to get even stranger. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. For the past couple of years, TikTok has been one of the most popular and growing social media platforms in the world. And most of the times, if you scroll TikTok for new videos, you'll find those popular dance videos, vlog type videos and those kind of things. However, sometimes, if you scroll for too long, you'll probably end up watching the strangest and creepiest videos ever. But in the past couple of weeks, I've noticed something really strange. The number of videos portraying mysterious phenomena in this sky has doubled or even tripled. And no one knows why. I see it. and it's leaving the entire internet completely baffled. What the f is that? What the f is this? What is this? Why is it moving? What is that in the sky? I have no idea. A couple of weeks ago, several mysterious sightings of what appears to be the same object were captured on camera. And apparently, it began in Mexico City with Francisco serving capturing what would turn out to be a series of strange events. And this is what he saw. In this very short video, Francisco captures what appears to be a drone at first. But this isn't the only video Francisco was able to record of this mysterious object and it seems he wasn't the only one to see it also. Check this out. When Francisco uploaded this video, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and most internet users thought that this could be a drone, even though it is way bigger than a conventional drone, and it's flying just next to an airport. An internet account by the name of SGM Porioga was able to capture the same object in Mexico City, but a little bit better. Check this out. But here's where things get even stranger. In another video uploaded by Pamela, also in Mexico City, we can see that whatever this object is, it appears that it's not all alone. Check this out. Some globos? In the video, we can see what appears to be the same plane taking off, and behind it, we can spot two shiny objects at first. And then, when she pans the camera to the left, there are hundreds of them. But it doesn't stop there. A couple of days later, a family spots a weird object in the sky also in Mexico City. Check this out. Trato de ver qué es, pero ya está estático, mira, ya no se mueve. 
está muy alto, ma. Mira, ven a verlo, ven, ven, ven. Tiene picos. Mira, ¿eh? Fíjense en los sí, picos. Los pico. no deja que Mira, lo... ahí está, ahí está. Creo que ya nos vio. Sí, sí ya nos vio. ¡Hola! No mames. Ya se subió más. Sí, ya se está subiendo más. Sí, se está yendo hacia Tiene el... picos. No mames. Muy alto ahí. No mames. What appears to be a metallic and spiked object can be seen in Mexico City and it leaves Amy and her family completely baffled. At first, the object is static, it's not moving, and then it starts going up slowly until it disappears. A couple of days later, a similar object is captured on camera, but this time in Colombia. Venga, yo miro a ver si les alcanzo a no. Ah, mire, 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 mire eso, mire eso. Venga, yo miro, es que el zoom no me da mucho. Pero no sabemos bien qué es. Es algo como con una forma ovalada. Y está todo el mundo grabando, está todo el mundo grabando esto. No sabemos bien qué es. Ahorita se unos movimientos muy extraños. Por acá hay gente, todo el mundo se está bajando a grabar. Y eso es lo que logramos observar, o sea, eso está estático, totalmente estático, ahorita es un movimiento demasiado brusco, la verdad es que nos dejó todos pensativos, tiene el tráfico parado en estos momentos, los carros están inmóviles porque se fueron para esa colina acá a grabar esto. Whatever this thing is, it appears as if it's not moving at all, then all of a sudden it starts moving slowly. Que se mueve en círculos, tiene unas lucecitas que se le mueve como en círculos. Esto es una cosa impresionante. La verdad, no sé qué puede hacer lo que esté pasando en estos momentos. Eh, tiene todo el tráfico acá detenido. Todo el mundo está parado mirando qué es lo que está pasando. Si observamos el video closely, it appears that the object is moving very slowly and it's as if it's spinning around itself, or maybe shifting its shape. But I'm not too sure. What I do know is that most of these sightings are a complete mystery. And to this day, no one knows exactly why this is happening all over the world. In your opinion, what do you really think is going on? Do you think it's maybe just a balloon or maybe a drone and people are hyped up about this phenomena or maybe it's something else entirely? Have you ever heard of the Hypatia Stone, a mysterious Egyptian rock that contains micro-mineral compounds not found on Earth nor anywhere else on our solar system? In other words, no one knows exactly how or where this rock was formed. It's basically an alien rock. Now, you would expect that this rock that was found in 1996 in Western Egypt by Ali Barakat to have some sort of alien special power like kryptonite, but it doesn't. However, a couple of weeks ago, a very strange video surfaced the internet and social media of what's supposed to be a very strange rock that was also found in Egypt and has some sort of superpower. In one of the videos posted by Multiversali on Reddit, it shows some of the strange properties that this rock has. Check this out. In the video, a man holds a paper with the date supposedly written on it. When he places the rock next to a water bottle, it becomes red. But it gets stranger. Take a look. When placing a Coca-Cola bottle side by side with the rock, the bottle simply bursts, somehow. But it doesn't stop there. In other videos, a different type of rock was shown with similar properties.
Nachukua yote. Mm. Ulimachukua video? Mm, nachukua video. Eh, sasa And when these videos were all posted, they amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and internet users were completely baffled by it. No one knows exactly how or what is going on here, but there are a couple of ideas, one of them being Red Mercury. Now if you don't know, Red Mercury isn't exactly the same thing as Mercury. The origins of Red Mercury are hazy. Evidence of it can be found in the work of medieval alchemist and philosopher Jabir ibn Hayyan, who wrote, The most precious elixirs to have been blended on earth were hidden in the pyramids. In ancient cultures, it is believed that this elixir, being red mercury, had special powers. It could cure people and much more. The thing is, in some of these cultures, it is believed that this red mercury or elixir was buried together with the pharaoh's mummies inside their tombs. Now here's where things get really interesting. On July 2020, similar videos were posted online. Videos that showed a supposed Egyptian rock that could do strange things. It would boil water. It would mess with electric devices. And it would have absolutely no reflection in a mirror. It really is one of the most mysterious videos out there, and to this day, it hasn't been completely explained. In this video, a man shows that red mercury does not reflect itself on mirror, it repels from garlic, and the list goes on. It's somewhat a vampire substance. However, other videos show that normal mercury does not behave like this. In other words, whatever the substance is, it looks like mercury, but it's something entirely different. Is this real? Is it CGI? Is it something else? What is really going on here? Now, red mercury supposedly does not exist. It's just a bad time story. However, these videos show the opposite. And there are many internet users stating that this is indeed red mercury. But still, I'm not sure. What do you think is really going on here and how do we explain some of these videos? What's your take? Now I don't know about you, but really strange things sometimes happen to me. For example, every time I arrive home, I place my car keys in the same spot and the next day sometimes it's not there for some unexplainable reason. Things like not being able to find your keys, your card, or things that you're pretty sure you left in that exact spot actually occur quite a lot with a lot of people out there. And sometimes we try to find an explanation like maybe my memory is failing or maybe some sort of anomaly is going on. But sometimes I'm pretty sure there's some sort of glitch in reality that happens and things disappear or things change. Immediately no. Immediately no. I'm telling you right now, I see what I needed. The thing is, most of the times there is a really good explanation to some of these unexplained things that occur. But sometimes there isn't. And this is exactly the case with Serena Beverly, who was heading to the park with her family and saw something that she couldn't quite explain. And she caught it all on camera and this is what she saw. Two 
200 deer. Never thought I'd see it in the wild. It's incredible. How is it still alive? In the video, we can see clearly what appears to be a two-headed deer. When all of a sudden, if you observe closely, one of the heads completely disappears. The video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and people were completely baffled. Most people think that it's actually a deer coming from behind the tree, while others think that this is a legit glitch in the matrix and that the second head either morphs into one or disappears. Now here's where things get strange. If we zoom in the video, and if we slow-mo, there's an opening that we can see between the deer and the tree. And if there were a second deer behind the tree, we would be able to see it coming and going from this opening. But it doesn't happen. I never thought I'd see it in the wild. It's incredible. How is it still alive? So it does look like a legit glitch in the simulation or something like that. Something that... Serena was not supposed to capture on camera, but she did. But I'm not sure. What's your take? Now, when it comes to glitch videos, Garbanzo5, an Instagram personality, decided to watch an interview and record it on his phone. When all of a sudden, he accidentally captured something chilling on camera, and this is what he saw. <laughs> In the video, a man appears to spawn from out of nowhere in the middle of the live stream. Now, Garbanzo5 published this as possibly a time traveler or something like that. However, many internet users argue that this actually is a green screen effect of some sort. However, if you watch in the background, there is a lady dressing all green, which would mean that she would be glitching if this was indeed some sort of green screen effect. But I'm not sure. In your opinion, do you think this is the real deal, or is it maybe something else that's going on here? Dogs, cats, and animals in general have a much better sense of vision and smell than humans. This in some way enables them to hearing and seeing things that we don't. About a month ago, I posted a video on a strange phenomenon that was occurring in the Euphrates River. In case you don't know, it all started with the Euphrates River, part of it drying up. And then these videos started popping up on social media of what's supposed to be caves being found under the dried up river and strange sounds coming from within them. If these videos are real or not, I'm not too sure. What I do know is that a subscriber of ours posted a video of his dog reacting to the strange sounds supposedly coming from under the river. And this is what happens. So I was just watching this video on YouTube. Um, it was about the Euphrates River drying up. And my dog was sleeping in bed. And as soon as I put it on, she woke up. And she, um, she got freaked out, pretty much. And she still seems a little on edge. Check it out. As soon as the dog hears what sounds like a vocalization of some sort, it freaks out. Check this out. Whatever this thing is, the dog is completely terrified. Some people believe that this sound actually comes from a video game, while others think that this is as real as it can get. Now I'm not too sure about this, but I'll leave it up to you. What do you think is really going on here and why is the dog 
reacting to it like this. Now when it comes to the fashion world, one could say that there's not much mystery surrounding it. But within the luxurious stores, the glitz and glamour of the runway, and behind the scenes of the high-end boutiques, there's one mystery that's been leaving a lot of people creeped out. In the last couple of years, a certain fashion brand got itself involved in one of the strangest internet mysteries. A mystery that involves missing people, paranormal activity, and much really more. Was focused she on me totally too. Totally Alright you guys, we're gonna we're gonna go here now. If you look at this not a doll mannequin, she is looking down. She's definitely looking down. In the pictures that we took, she's looking right at me. And I'm about to show you guys some of the videos that may actually prove all of this. But before that, let me explain how it all started. On March 2020, Christopher G, one of Balenciaga's models, supposedly went missing. He was attending a party at a friend's house in the Hollywood Hills area of Los Angeles, California, when his car was found abandoned in a residential area in the same place with his phone and other personal belongings still inside. According to FresherLive.com, LAPD and the entire neighborhood launched a search to find Christopher G without any success. Now fast forward to November 2022, Balenciaga got itself involved in a very big controversy, a controversy that ended up in a $25 million lawsuit and much more. At the time, a marketing company that Balenciaga hired came up with a very bad idea. An idea that caught the attention of millions of people all over the world, but not the good kind of attention. This, for instance, is one of the videos that got Balenciaga into this mess. Take a look. What's in your bag? In my bag, uh, like stuff or maybe. I'll just hold it for you and you can take things out. Excuse me. Yeah. Look, there's like a, like when she starts to cry, like then when when she's gonna pee, I don't know. Then uh, when, when she's boring, uh, now I'm pretty certain that you can imagine why this wasn't exactly the best of ideas when it comes to marketing campaigns. It didn't take long before Balenciaga became the focus of several controversies and crazy ideas and theories. A massive scandal. One of the big questions has been why uh, celebrities lying. Internet users started to speculate what was exactly the message that Balenciaga was trying to send with this very creepy and bizarre campaign. Strange, isn't it? But it gets even stranger when on April 2023, a woman noticed something really bizarre about a mannequin in one of Balenciaga's store in Paris. Okay, people, tell me something. So this is a store in Paris. This is a man's store in Paris. And this is a, a um, mannequin that they say that they made <laughs> and put this in the store. This boy look like somebody I'm bomb. Look at his hand. Wait, I'm doing it through the phone. Look at the boy hands. Look, the hands. His hands. His hands is as real as When I first watched this video, I was impressed by the realistic mannequin that she had found in a Balenciaga store. It's way too realistic, and it does have a very creepy vibe to it. But still, it could be a wax statue or something like that. But this is where things take a really strange turn. Not only does the mannequin look exactly like Christopher G, the missing model and designer for Balenciaga, the mannequin also appears to turn its head and look straight at the woman in a certain moment in the video. Watch closely. This is freaking serious, I swear. If anybody have this guy missing. <laughs> in <the> Balenciaga. <laughs> if anybody have this guy missing, please. This is crazy. I've never seen anybody look so freaking real. How you have this man in another store sit on? Look. Look at that. You see? 
this this is friggin crazy look at the, look in the guy eye and them said they made this mannequin and put clothes on him and have him sit down in the window look at the guy friggin face this look like the friggin guy who was in the um did you see that in a certain moment in the video the mannequin appears to turn its head and look straight back at the woman is this a camera illusion paranormal activity or maybe something else after being posted the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and a lot of people all over the world were leaving comments and very much convinced that this was actually christopher g the missing model and designer for balenciaga and well it actually does look like christopher g the only thing is I did a quick research and Christopher G apparently did a live video on his Instagram recently explaining that he was alive and well. But the thing is, most internet users weren't much convinced. One internet user stated, that's an old pre-recorded live, not a new one. And if the mannequin is a wax statue, why does his jawline look kind of strange? Many others agreed that he still has the same hairstyle since 2020, the year that Christopher G went missing. One internet user made an excellent point. If that's him, why didn't he explain the process in doing a lookalike mannequin and make more videos other than the live stream? And finally, one internet user added, to me, he doesn't look like the same in the live stream. Something is off. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is the case. It could just be a very well done wax statue taking into consideration that there are many more look-alike mannequins in various different Balenciaga stores. But then again, is this possibly just another creepy and elaborate marketing campaign from Balenciaga or is there something else going on here, something far more sinister? What's your take? Now, I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I was always afraid of sleeping next to dolls or toys. I was always afraid they would start moving on their own. And even though it never happened, and I knew it was supposed to be impossible, it was something that I was always afraid of. Now, the funny thing about it is that later on, I found out that a lot of people are also afraid of dolls and toys at night. <laughs> But I guess that this is not the case for Cassie O'Malley. On January 19th, a friend of Cassie's gave her a gift, an Ashton Drake doll. The person who bought it got it off of Amazon, it's an Ashton Drake doll. Now for those of you who do not know, an Ashton Drake doll is a realistic, lifelike doll that actually is referred to sometimes as a reborn because of their resemblance to real life babies. They use a type of vinyl called So Truly Real, which actually feels like baby skin. It's that realistic. Kinda creepy, isn't it? But it gets even creepier when Cassie actually opens the doll's box for the first time. And this is what happens. Pay very close attention. Oh my god, I swear to god this thing just looked at me. Oh my Did you see that? Right after Cassie opens the box, the doll's eyes can be seen moving, looking straight at her. And she saw it, and it clearly freaked her out. Oh my god, I swear. It freaked her out so much that she ended up making several videos in hopes of catching the doll doing it again. But it never did. However, in one specific video, most of her subscribers state that they can see the doll's head moving. Check this out. As I am sitting here reading all of these comments, I forgot that this is still sitting here. Now, if all of this weren't strange enough, it gets even stranger. In another video, she finds out that the doll's name is Annabelle's Hugs. You guys, I just noticed something crazy as f You're all gonna think this is so insane, but I just took out the certificate of authenticity for her and you're not gonna freaking believe the name on this thing are you sh me? 
Even though this is all very creepy, some of her subscribers weren't exactly very convinced that this could be the real deal. So she later posted a video explaining how the doll isn't supposed to move her eyes or her mouth or anything like that. Also, for the people who say, oh, just, her eyes are supposed to move, her eyes aren't moving. They ain't moving unless she just blinked right there. I don't if we slow-mo and replay the video, it actually looks as if the doll is looking straight at her. And many seem to agree. But I'm not too sure. What do you think is going on here? Now when it comes to encounters with the paranormal, public transportation like buses, trains and taxis have often been the backdrop of unexplained sightings and events. For example, in Japan in 2011 and 2012, there were a number of strange cases of taxi drivers who would pick up passengers that would simply vanish into thin air. Some of these taxi drivers were actually able to capture this on camera. Now imagine a similar situation unfolding thousands of miles away in Delhi, India. A couple of weeks ago, in the region of Mandka, a bus driver started noticing strange things going on inside his bus right before his shift ended. In one of the videos, the bus driver notices that one of the seats looks as if there's still someone actually occupying it. He goes over to the CCTV camera and is shocked by what he sees. Check this out. कंडक्टर सीट पे ये व्यक्ति बैठा हुआ है ये देखो दोबारा से ध्यान से देख लो बैठा हुआ है और मैं जो है आपको दोबारा से कंडक्टर सीट की तरफ ले जाता हूं और देखो यहां कोई भी नजर नहीं आ रहा कैमरे में देखो इन द वीडियो वी कैन सी दैट देयर इज अपेरेंटली नो वन सिटिंग इनसाइड द बस हाउएवर when the bus driver shows the CCTV camera, it actually checks out that there's someone there. And what makes this all even creepier is the fact that when he approaches the seat, you can actually see the markings as if there's someone actually still there. Creepy, isn't it? But it gets even creepier that same week when the bus driver picks up a passenger and ends up freaking out when he finds out that this passenger is possibly a ghost or something else entirely. And this is what happens. Check this out. As you can see in the video, the woman appears to have no face at all. And when the bus driver realizes that he's possibly dealing with something not of this world, he immediately asks his friend to call the police. Now it is being said that when the police arrived, the woman was nowhere to be found. Now if this is the real deal or not, whatever is going on here, this has got to be one of the creepiest things I've ever seen so far. Most internet users believe that the woman passenger was a jinn, a type of entity that is believed to exist in certain religions and cultures, has no face and uses a type of cloak.
perfectamente uno se ve patrullando muy bien ahí, ve, muy bien. Y ve, se, ve. se ve todo como se ve sombra invisible ahí, ve. Ve, lo ve, ahí se desapareció. Other internet users suggest that this is somehow linked to the mysterious freakouts happening in airplanes recently. Now if this is the case, I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna leave it up to you. Is this bus haunted and is this possibly a gen? And is this linked somehow to the mysterious freakouts in airplanes? Back there is not real! What's your take? On December 2022, a lot of people witnessed a very strange event just above the Sapphire Club in Las Vegas. There's a UFO directly above the club. At the time, the event was so strange that it gathered hundreds of people on the streets looking at it and recording it. In the video we can see several dots of light behind the clouds and it seems like they're completely still, not moving at all. Just by looking at it, people could see that this is not your everyday lights in the sky, this is probably something else. But what makes it even stranger is the fact that when the Sapphire Club's strobe lights point directly at this thing, whatever it is, it's as if it reflects the strobe lights. In other words, it's as if there's some sort of invisible object behind the clouds and it somehow forgot to turn off the headlights. But it didn't stop there, something similar happened recently in Florida. What the f No wait. They Ooh! Holy They're coming for you, Tony! They're coming for me. What the f is that? Now what makes this all very interesting is that apparently, a couple of weeks ago, a new trend started in social media where people are buying military green lasers and pointing it randomly at the sky, more precisely at random stars. And what happens in the video is leaving the entire internet completely baffled. <laughs> oh. Sí, po, es que debe ser un metal grande o un espejo, no sé por qué. Dale, porque se dio filete en negro. Porque para que rebote de esa forma, claro, ¿cachai? Eso no es una linterna. Ya ya cachamos que no es una linterna. For some strange reason, in the video we can clearly see what appears to be a star somehow responding to the green laser by reflecting back. This is absolutely mind-blowing. The video was recorded a couple of weeks ago by Daniel Segovia in Santiago del Chile. Strange, isn't it? But to make it even stranger, another video was posted where a person does the same thing and it happens again. In the video, a person is randomly pointing a green laser at a star in the sky. This is until the star disappears and starts blinking back as if it's communicating somehow. This is when whatever this thing is shines the green laser back at the person. Whatever's going on here, it left the entire internet completely creeped out. Some internet users suggest that this is fake, that maybe there's a person on top of a mountain somewhere shining a green laser and a flashlight back. Other internet users believe that this is the real deal. Maybe there are UFOs watching us, or maybe something far more sinister. Doing a quick research on the topic, I found out that actually this became a trend in 2012 and it might have started with Stephen Greer in 2005. And there are several ufologists that have been using this technique to actually catch the attention of these unidentified flying objects. And apparently there are dozens of videos of people trying this out with a certain level of success, which makes us wonder what is really going on in our sky. Questions like, are these objects really UFOs? No way. I can't see it on my phone camera. 
and are they pretending to be stars and why do they react to the green laser specifically these are some of the questions that are leaving absolutely everyone baffled <laughs> now if all of this wasn't strange enough it gets stranger a couple of weeks ago a reddit user by the name of martian ash x12 posted a very intriguing video of a friend of his using a PVS 14 Gen 3 night vision camera. And in the video you can see several unidentified objects crossing the sky. So it may actually prove the existence of such objects and not only that, these objects might actually be the same ones that are reacting to these green lasers. But who knows? I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think is going on here? Gente, se acerca el fin de... Miren esto que está sucediendo ahorita. Estamos aquí en Lisboa. No sabemos, no se sabe. Miren el avión. Va a combatir esto que se ve acá. No se sabe qué. Si alguien sabe. Are these actually UFOs or are they just drones or maybe something else far more sinister? In today's world, living an urban life can be very much stressful and to get away from this stress, sometimes people choose different kinds of activities during the weekend, one of them being camping. Just so you have an idea, 50 million people choose to go camping every year just in the US alone. That's a lot of people. And I guess that most people go camping because they want to get away from this stressful life in search for a peaceful and quiet moment. But sometimes things aren't that peaceful and quiet in the middle of the woods. That was a screaming. Or like a woman or something. That was a, that was a female screaming. Sometimes strange and mysterious things occur and very rarely they are captured on camera. This is sort of what happened with Caden and a couple of friends when they decided to go camping in Arizona. Now Caden has about 127,000 followers and his videos are mainly focused on daily vlog type videos. None of them are actually focused on strange or mysterious things. However, in this specific video, Caden went camping with a couple of friends and found himself face to face with a very strange situation. From what I understand, they had just set up camp when they started hearing a strange noise. And this is what they caught on camera. That was a f screaming. Joe, listen. I or like a f woman or something. That was a, f that was a female f screaming, Phil. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Oh my God, Phil's After posting part one of this video, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and most internet users were divided. While some believe that this could be a mountain lion, which is sort of a common thing when you're out in the woods, some believe that this could actually be a skinwalker type of creature or something like that. This is until he posted a part two of his camping experience and things started to get stranger and stranger, and this is what happens next. Phil, that sounds like some scary movie. Fucking middle of the biggest ever, dude. Dude, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's dude, that sounds like some hard, dude. What happened to the other steel target? After approaching the area where they believe the mysterious screams are coming from, they start noticing strange things all around them. They also notice a couple of bottles here and there. This is when something even creepier happens and they caught it all on camera. One right there on the ground. It's on the ground. Where the f is what? That right there. What the f is that? Dude, that's not normal. No. Please tell me you guys Oh, no, 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 no. Did you get to see it? 
Well, neither did I, nor Caden and his friends. It was actually one of his subscribers who pointed out something strange. If we brighten up the video, we can actually see what appears to be some sort of humanoid figure lurking from behind one of the trees. It appears that they were not all alone, after all. Now some internet users left comments saying that it could be a barn owl, while others state that this could actually be a cryptid or an unknown creature of some sort, mostly because of the way it moves. Now I'm not pretty sure what's going on here, but I know that if we take everything in this video into consideration, it all points out that there's something far more sinister going on, and I'm not sure why or what. In your opinion, do you think that this video could be a prank of some sort, or is it the real deal? In the 1970s, when my grandfather was much younger, I remember him telling me that he bought a blue car in a dealership. He was really happy about it. So he drove the car home, and he was pretty sure the car was blue. When arriving home, he got out of the car, and the car was yellow. He was baffled by it. And he couldn't just get around this story, so he told everyone about it. The thing is, at the time, people just thought my grandfather was crazy. But the thing is, every day thousands of people live through something similar. Something they can't quite explain. They scratch their heads, they go back home, and they remain sleepless, thinking about it for days. That plane is still. Is that normal? No, that's not normal. Rapaz, já de macacada é essa mesmo que se fosse um tava flutuando mesmo, não, irmão, ó. Não tem nada embaixo, irmão, ó. Não é mentira mesmo, não, ó. Já de macacada é essa. After 1999, when The Matrix was released, the topic of maybe living inside of a digital simulation became something bigger. It became a trend. And all of a sudden, there was this possibility that, hmm, maybe we are living inside of a simulation. And maybe sometimes the simulation glitches for some unknown reason. What? Look at this, it's almost, it's almost fake looking. But it's just a theory and we can't prove it or disprove it. A couple of weeks ago, met a cowboy who was waiting for his friend at a store inside his car, realized that he was face to face with one of the most chilling and strangest glitches ever. He was able to capture it all on camera, and this is how it all started. Check this out. Guys, this girl keeps repeating the same thing over and over. She's going to get out of her car. Watch her. She's done this three times. She's going to get out of her car. She's going to walk around the front. She's going to go get in the passenger side. All right, watch her. This is super creepy. I don't know if it's like a glitch or what. Now she's going to get out, and she's going to walk around the back of the car. Okay, she's gonna walk around the back of the car and then she's gonna get in. She's done this three times. She does it every 10 minutes. I'm just sitting in the parking lot. Now she's gonna look to the right and then she's gonna go. Now, whenever she leaves, she's gonna go over here and then she's gonna take a right and leave out of the park. Like the first two times, I'm like, what is going on? Now she's gonna go and she's gonna go to the highway over there. Sure enough, she goes up to the highway over there, takes a right, and then heads back. So in about five minutes, she's gonna be back and she's gonna keep repeating the same pattern. For some mysterious reason, this woman keeps repeating a pattern and Meta Cowboy actually noticed that while waiting for his friend at a store. He goes inside the store to record the woman during the repeated pattern once again, and this is what happens. This again, just to prove to you guys that I wasn't crazy. 
Watch. She's going to get out. She's going to walk around the car, sit in the other side. She's stuck in the same pattern. She's done this five or six times. And she's going to get out and walk around the back of the car. Somehow intrigued about this mysterious glitch, Meta Cowboy decides to go and talk to her to see if he could somehow get her out of this mysterious loop. And this is what happened next. Check this out. Guys, she's back. All right, out of respect for her, I'm not going to show her face, but I'm going to see if I can break the pattern. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Hey, um, I was just sitting here and I saw you kind of doing the same thing over and over. And I was wondering if, like, uh, this person kind of stuck in a, uh, Oh, I, I didn't know. I thought I was making that noise. Okay. After approaching the woman, she replies back something that I can't exactly hear. If you can, please leave a comment. The thing is, he goes back to his car and he records her leaving for the last time. Completely baffled by it, he goes back to living his normal and regular life. Jesus. However, that same evening, eight hours later after this event, this happens right, check this out. out now i'm at the light and there is this girl with her mother what is going on today like how can this even be i don't understand like why are all these things happening after mad cowboy posted the video to his social media millions of views and thousands of comments were pouring in and people were confused some people believe that this is a legit glitch in the matrix that maybe he caught on camera while others think that the girl has some sort of OCD. Now, if you don't know what OCD is, it's an obsessive compulsive disorder that is characterized by unreasonable thoughts and fears and obsessions that lead to compulsive behaviors. And it's more common than most people would imagine. The thing is, there are degrees of this OCD. Some people have more OCD than others and the list goes on. The thing is, what many internet users noticed is that for some mysterious reason, the woman is barefoot. And not only that, there are other strange patterns in the video that if you notice, it would possibly point to the fact that maybe this is not OCD, maybe this is something else entirely. But I'm not exactly sure what. In your opinion, do you think this could actually be some sort of glitch in the matrix? Or is it maybe that she has some sort of OCD? The thing is, how do you explain Meta Cowboy running into her once again the same day, eight hours later? I mean, is this just a big coincidence or is there something else to it? What's your take? What do you think is really going on here? Is this a legit glitch, OCD, or maybe something else entirely? From the earliest days of Alexander Graham Bell's invention to the latest iPhone release, mobile phones have become an essential part of our daily lives. With their advanced features and conveniences, it's hard to imagine living without them nowadays. But what if these devices are doing more than just making our lives easier? What if they're actually spying on us? Nowadays, most people are already aware that when you're talking to someone and you have your phone nearby, if you're talking about a product or a trip that you made, most likely the next day your phone is going to start showing advertisements for those kind of things that you talked about. It's listening to us. Now, what if it's doing more than just listening to us? About a year ago, Bree Thomason accidentally found out through her infrared camera that our phones are taking invisible pictures of us every five seconds. Wild and crazy Friday night findings. We just discovered, which we already knew, 
that your phone, an iPhone specifically, takes an infrared picture of you with your face ID every five-ish seconds. And we looked at it through an infrared camera and it's pretty wild. Let's show you. Okay, have your home screen. It's on the home screen. Not touching anything. No buttons. Okay, infrared lens on the camera. Boom, there was one. Two. <laughs> That's so wild. Okay, cover the camera. Okay. Oh, there was another one. Okay, nothing. Oh, it's trying. It's taking pictures of your finger. Okay, move your finger, ready? Boom. <laughs> After being uploaded, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and internet users were completely baffled by this. Is our phone actually spying on us somehow? Needless to say, the next day there were hundreds of videos of people trying the same thing out to see if it actually worked, and surprisingly, in most cases, it did. Now remember, this is something that we can't see with the naked eye, so we need an infrared camera to check it out. After the topic became a viral thing, newspapers all over the world were talking about it. The company that produces the phone actually released an official note, saying that this is actually an aspect of a certain model of the phone, and this is actually part of the Face ID system and the Animoji. In other words, according to the company, this is just a scanning system that checks every 5 seconds if the person is still there, otherwise it would automatically shut the screen off. And even though Apple's explanation is plausible is most likely what's going on, many people out there were still skeptical about it. Most internet users seem to agree that there's something wrong about the way this system works. One internet user stated, isn't that just because your phone's making sure you're looking at it to keep the screen on? And another user replied, well my phone just closed when looking at it. And another one stated, there's times I've been thinking of what to type and just staring at the screen and it'll try to shut down. In other words, some internet users are not very confident that this 5 second system is just for face ID and attention aware, it might actually be for something else either. But there's no evidence or proof of that. And not only that, what would they be doing with our pictures? And where would they be storing it? But even so, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is really going on here? Do you think that mobile phones may actually be spying on us? Or maybe there's nothing to worry about? Leave a comment down below. For some mysterious reason, in the past couple of months, a very bizarre and creepy topic has been trending all over social media. And it's a topic that I've covered before on my channel, but for some reason it just keeps growing and growing and getting more attention. And I guess one of the reasons is because everyone has a phone camera nowadays, so there must be thousands of people recording strange videos every day. And most likely at this point, if you've been scrolling enough around the internet, you've probably come across this mysterious and creepy creature known as a skinwalker. Wow. It's not showing up on camera. Hey, show us. Stop it. There it is. There it is. Yeah, what is there blinking? Out there. They're out There's there. There's a bunch. Look. Yeah, no, <gasps> see, right there. The thing is, when searching the topic online, most of the videos that you'll find are either fake or not even related to the topic at all. But before I show you some of the creepiest videos sent to me this week, let me explain a little bit about skinwalkers. The legend or myth of the skinwalker originates from the Navajo tribe, and it's considered to be a part of the Navajo cultural belief and it's passed down through generations. So even though it is considered a myth in our society, to them it's very real. A skinwalker in Native American folklore is described as a person who has the ability to transform into an animal or any other creature. And it is also believed that this skinwalker gained a power, a mysterious power of some sort through dark magic. And although the legend is primarily associated with Navajo mythology, Similar beliefs are also found in other Native American cultures as well. In other words, you don't want to encounter something like this in the woods all alone. However, it was sort of what happened with Moat Owens, who was with a group of friends somewhere in Oregon, riding their bikes, having fun, when all of a sudden he started distancing himself from the group 
And it was when he came across a couple of tree branches blocking the way that he thought that maybe he should go back. But he didn't. So he hopped over the trees. And this is when something really strange happened. This is where most people would turn around. If you turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side, that's where all the gold is waiting over there. Could be missing out what's on the other side. Hello? At first, what sounds like distant screams for help can be clearly heard in Mo Owen's video. And it's when he replies, hello, that he realizes that this thing isn't distant at all. It's actually really close to him and it sounds like it's really big. Now at this point, he does what anyone would do and he gets the heck out of there as fast as possible, not knowing what was it that was out there. After he posted the video to TikTok, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and people were completely baffled by it. Some internet users believe that this is just a bobcat or a mountain lion or something like that. While other internet users believe that this could actually be a legitimate skinwalker encounter of some sort. Now if we replay the video, you can clearly hear at some point this creature screaming, help me. Hello? So I don't think a mountain lion or a bobcat would be able to do that, but I could be wrong. Also, in some legends and folklore, it is known that the skinwalker has the ability to lure people in, pretending to be a human being in a distressful situation when in reality it already transformed itself into an animal or creature ready to approach you at any moment. So this could be just a coincidence of some sort and it's a bobcat or a mountain lion or it could be the real deal. But when it comes to skinwalkers, it doesn't stop there. Jimena has a very interesting social media account where she posts normal videos of her hiking in the woods and living in Patagonia in Argentina. You won't find mysterious, creepy or strange videos in her account. However, there's one specific encounter that she had in the woods that left her absolutely creeped out. And this is what she caught on camera. Did you see that? What appears to be some sort of strange humanoid figure can be seen showing up behind her from out of nowhere. Internet users were completely baffled. Some suggest that this is a woman walking behind her. Others state that this is just a tree that was cut in half and left there with a sign of some sort. Others believe that this could actually be a Nahual, an entity that lives in the forest and is able to shapeshift into creatures just like a skinwalker. But the thing is, if we slow-mo and replay the video a couple of times, you'll see that whatever this thing is, it seems to be moving, but it's not a person at all. Now Jay Mena posted another video showing the pathway that she was in and it's just too narrow for someone to pass by her without being noticed in the camera before appearing in the background. So whatever this thing is, it's as if it didn't want to be seen, but she accidentally somehow captured it on camera. So what is it? Could it be an entity, a skinwalker, or maybe something else entirely? But when it comes to the legend of skinwalkers, an internet account by the name of Queenology100 captured a very interesting video recently. She says that it was late at night and she was sleeping inside her home when all of a sudden she heard the noise of two cats fighting just in front of her porch. You know how cats can be noisy when they fight and all that. So she got out of bed and went to her window to check out what was going on. And this is what happened.
After a while, she decided to go outside to see if she could maybe scare the cats away and go back to sleep. And this is when things take a really strange turn. <gasps> If you watch closely, it appears as if one of the cat's shadow actually transforms into a human being and walks away in the middle of the night. And if you take a look at her social media account, there are no other strange videos. This is the only one, which most likely means that she wasn't aiming for views when she posted this video. She was most likely looking for answers. But who knows? Either there was someone behind that car actually waiting to snatch one of the cats in the middle of the night, which would be really strange. Or maybe Queenology 100 actually captured something pretty strange that night. And it could be a skinwalker. But when it comes to strange encounters late at night, an Instagram account recently posted a very strange video. A couple of explorers came up to this cave in the middle of the woods in an unknown location and apparently trapped inside the cave they found this humanoid creature of some sort. This is what they captured on camera, check this out. Hocam bu ne ya? Ana oğlum. Bu ne? Hocam. Vallahi içeride bir şey var. Uyarıyorlar bizi, uyarıyorlar. Kaç. Var ya burada bir şey sıkışmış bak. Taşın içinde bir şey var. Ana ne oğlum hocam? Hocam. What appears to be some sort of humanoid, alien-like figure can be seen trapped inside the cave. When the explorers realize what they're looking at, they run for their lives. Now, when the video was posted online, internet users were divided. Some think that this could actually be just a baby owl, while others think that this is legit a grey alien of some sort. But even so, if it were to be a baby owl, why would the explorers run? Not only that, it makes this weird noise, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave this one up to you. What do you think is going on here? And have you ever seen something strange in the middle of the woods? When we hear or see things that we don't fully understand, we immediately start looking for an explanation. And when we don't find one, that's when we tend to start looking at things like parallel dimensions, glitches in the matrix, time travel, and the list goes on. The thing is, since ancient times, it is believed that other types of worlds intertwine somehow with ours. And in different cultures all over the world, this invisible world is known as a spirit world. Now, to this day, this spirit world hasn't been scientifically proven. However, the most modern scientific theories suggest that there are possibly more than 10 dimensions, meaning that maybe there is a spirit world and possibly much, much more. But here's the thing with so many videos out there, there should be at least one or two that may actually prove the existence of these other worlds. And maybe there is. On August 2020, an internet profile by the name of Snackwarius was listening to classical music with a friend of hers somewhere in Australia. Most restaurants, stores, malls, everything was basically closed back in 2020. And it was a beautiful afternoon when all of a sudden something really strange happened. This is what she caught on camera. I hope it does it again. Am I creeping right now? Ah, oh, what is happening? In the video, we can clearly hear some sort of interruption on the radio, and all of a sudden, a voice can be heard. I can't exactly make out everything that's being said. However, things like time capsule or time console 
and there's not much time. Those things are very clear to me and they were just about enough to catch my attention. And not only my attention, but also the attention of millions of people all over the world. Some internet users thought that maybe this could be a radio transmission from an escape room. The only problem is... In 2020, most likely escape rooms weren't open. And in most countries, you gotta have a license to transmit to radio frequency, so this is most likely not the case. But if it isn't, then what's going on here? <laughs> Several internet users were trying to figure out exactly what was being said in the radio transmission. One internet user by the name of Jenny said 1065 means stand by, awaiting next message. Another internet user states, it sounds like a time traveler got caught. People went back to help and he's telling others to hurry and get back, there's not much time. One internet user even stated that a similar thing happened to him before and that he's been searching the internet ever since and found nothing related to it except for this video. Now I'm not exactly sure that this radio interruption in Australia is a time traveling message, but it is very strange and to this day no one knows where it came from or what it means. I want to know your thoughts, do you think that this is a radio glitch, an escape room or something like that? Or maybe the real deal? But when it comes to these strange and unexplained occurrences, there's one that's creeping absolutely everyone out. On a video posted by Kinney Varo on Instagram, a couple of people are enjoying a good time on top of a mountain in Malaysia when this happens. Check this out. At first, what appears to be a regular and everyday moment on top of a mountain, but then, if we rewind the video and if you pay close attention, there's one specific person that stands out. Internet users were freaked out about it. What appears to be a headless person can be seen in the video. Now, some internet users suggest that this is just an illusion of some type, that the person is actually looking down at a certain angle, making it look like it doesn't have a head. However, many other internet users disagree. Some state that this is possibly a ghost or a glitch in the matrix. And it could be one of those rare occasions when a camera actually picks up a ghost or something that's not supposed to be there. There are dozens of these unexplained photos all over the world, but I'm not sure. What's your take? This is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check them out and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. And if you want to send me strange videos or stories, please do at thatimpossiblechannel at gmail.com and I'll see you guys again.